Ya yo, ya yo, yo, ya yo, ya yo, hey, ya yo, ya. Shit, what the fuck are you talking about? Bro, I'm in here practicing, bro. You hear me with the ya yo, man? Like I'm about to do the whole thing, the intro. The intro for what? What, 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 the, what the fuck is a ya yo, ya yo? What the fuck is that? Bro, ya yo, ya. You don't know the four kids dub opening, bro? The four kids dub opening? What, what, the, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is four kids? <sighs> You must be part of like Generation X, Gen Z or some shit. You don't know about four kids, bro. One Piece was on four kids. You remember Sanji with the lollipop and all that? Yeah, the funny ass accident and shit. Wait, wait. One Piece was on TV? Oh my God, bro. What are you fucking 12, money? <sighs> I never thought that I'd be the one to get you hip on an opening, but since you're here, bro, just 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 listen to this beat and, and listen to this fucking rap, man. I, I can't even believe you right now. Like You don't know what the four kids up? <sighs> never mind. Let me put this fucking beat on. Hey man, you know what the fuck is going on, man? Hey, this is the hood review of Post Time Skip One Piece, and I can't talk much, man. But 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 y'all know I had to get on the four kids though. Man, what I'm telling them? Hey, I'm moving crazy with the weapons. I'ma raise the bar, nigga. I've been bitch pressing. I don't trust the ops from shooting with this Wesson. Niggas moving light, I'm blicking like Ben Beckman. I'm different, I've been stressing. Y'all moving like a bitch. Lost in the sauce like you Zoro in the mix. I am too cold, more Monet when I'm at risk. I'm like Dolphy. I be moving strings up in my click, niggas lost me. And your rap's kinda bottomless. We don't get what you be writing like a Pony Glyph. Hey, if you shooting, you will probably miss. Used to whip it in my kitchen like a pile of bricks. Now I'm flexing, I don't need to try to pile it in. Trying to see who is who like the flying six. But all I see is red in my accomplishments. Nigga, you know what the fuck is going on? Hey, this the hood review of Post Time Skip One Piece, man. Hey, you know what the fuck going on, man. Hey, grab the strap. Grab the fucking strap. Let's get it. Hey, man, as you can see from the fucking intro, you know what the fuck is going on, man. This is the hood review of Post Time Skip One Piece. And oh my God, I'm so excited, bro. Cause y'all know that One Piece is my favorite series, my favorite manga. And as I did the Naruto hood review and the Bleach hood review, I was like, hmm, I did 40 minutes and 40 minutes, but I only did 10 minutes for pre-time skip. I know my One Piece fans are looking at me and they are real disappointed right now, but don't worry because oh my God, I swear to God, I am about to give y'all the entirety of post time skip. I'm talking about every arc, not just one arc, nah, nah, not just two, nah, every post time skip arc, except Wano. And, and I know y'all are probably like, yo, boo, boo, get his motherfucker off the stage. This is trash. Bro, listen, listen, hear me out. Wano is so long, pause. It is the longest arc in One Piece. Bro, we've been in Wano for four years. Bro, we've been in Wano longer than I've been reading One Piece. Like, god damn, like, like oh, the end this fucking arc. But listen, I don't want to do Wano until Wano is completed. So this is what we're going to do. Because I think Wano should be hopefully, hopefully done sometime early next year. It's us up the order for real. But if we get this video to 3,000 likes on God Almighty, and I love my God, you feel me? <laughs> Stop playing. I will do a Wano hood review. But, but if we don't get them likes... And if y'all don't follow me on Twitch, <laughs> Sensei Streaming, you feel me? Follow me on Twitch, it's in the pinned comment in the description, you feel me, and all that. And if y'all don't join my Discord, in the pinned comment in the description, like, then I ain't doing it. Like, stop playing with me. But anyways, fuck all that, man. All the logistics, all the boring shit, get that shit the fuck out of the way. First and foremost, bro, we go to return to Saba Odi. And y'all remember Saba Odi from pre-time skip? What happened to the Straw Hats? They got punished. L -l 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 Let's be honest. These niggas got beat up by glorified Terminators. The passive feces was out here. Pew, 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 pew. Punished the entire Straw Hats. Laid them flat, bro. This is one of the first times where I was like, oh my God, we're fucking bums. Nigga, like, 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 like yo, everybody was out here punishing us. Kizaru punishing us. Pacifistas punishing us. Kizaru's nephew forgot the nigga name. Fat ass bitch. I think, wait, is that a nigga? I think it, it's his nephew, so it's a guy. Looks like a girl. I got the bob cut. Like, I. Damn, I don't really, it don't even fucking matter, man. But fuck all that, fuck all that. They punished us, bro. Like, like that's the all y'all need to know. But we're back in Return to Saboti. And oh my God, this is right out of the time skip. I don't know about y'all, but when I was binging One Piece, bro, I was so goddamn excited to get to time skip, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here reading like, okay, this is cool and all that. But when we get in the fucking time skip, like, like when we get stronger? And, and, and bro, it's not one of those power-ups or one of them time skips where it's like, we're just super overpowered. Like, like nah. Like, like we still struggle against people and all that. Like, I know y'all seen Katakuri and Luffy. Like, eh, that's a whole nother entity. We're going to talk about that. However, now we know about this special thing called hockey. 
And oh my God, hockey changed the entire game. Bro, you remember those pacifistas that was giving us trouble? <sighs> well, we punished them. But before that, bro, we have to talk about the fucking fake straw hats, bro. So we get to Saba Odi, right? All the straw hats have done, you know, their 3D, 2Y and all that. <laughs> On the third day, second year, I think it's something like, you feel me, whatever. But anyways, we all supposed to be meeting here. But there's some fake straw hats running amok. You feel me? Like, they out here acting like they the real straw hats. And I'm thinking to myself, if y'all gonna pretend to be the straw hats, like... My nigga, at least look like the actual straw hats. I mean, like, these motherfuckers are fucking hideous. Like, there, there's no fucking way that they were thinking that people were going to believe they were the real straw hats. All right, first and foremost, bro, Chopper is a fox. Bro, if you don't get your... All right, hold on. Before I do this, I forgot to mention this, but this is a fucking hood review. And, and, and I know sometimes you all want me to be serious and all that, and, and I'm going to be. But there's no fucking way that I'm doing this whole hood review without flaming niggas, bro. First and foremost, fake straw hats, please come to center state. Yo, Chopper, what the fuck? Is this nigga's a fuck. Bro, if you don't get your fake ass QB looking ass nigga, your Vopix looking ass nigga, like, like, get the fuck out. And then we got Robin, like, what the fuck? And Nami, like, oh my God. First off, why does Nami look like a Hey Arnold character? Like, let, 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 let's just get that the fuck out of here. Uh, a stretched out Angelica looking ass nigga. And then you got this nasty ass crop top on, yo. <laughs> yo, why you buy? Yo, I'm gonna come clean though. The titties was looking alright for real. Like, I'm just, nah, I'm just playing. But nah, let's stop playing with me. Got this nasty ass crop top. And what the fuck is on top of your head, nigga? It looked like you was in a cartoon and the anvil fell on. You got this bumpy ass shit. That's not no ponytail. That's a struggle tail, bro. Get that the fuck out of here. Back to Robin, though. You got this big ass collar on, nigga. Like, what the fuck? He got the Elvis Presley collar, ain't it? Then we got Sanji weird ass in the back, man. He got this fake ass fro with this nasty part, this deep part. This nigga looking like he had a long day at the office, nigga. Stretched out, tie, wrinkly ass clothes, nigga. Somebody need to hit his clothes with a goddamn iron gun, nigga. Like, like put them shits down and straighten that shit out, nigga. I'm gonna come clean, though. When Sanji smoke cigarettes, you smoke cigarettes for about 10 more years, Sanji. You look like that. That nigga and then we got big ass luffy nigga or should i say thicky nigga this big fat ass nigga like what the fuck and why is this top half of his body look normal but his belly fat like that bro like 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 what the fuck going on nigga my fucking stomach looking like a deep freezer ain't it and then you got this x on it nigga nigga what's the x stand for x marks the spot to where the cholesterol is ain't it the fuck going on big pot belly ass nigga we got this fake ass frankie bro like what the fuck this nigga frankie looking like something off meat canyon like i'm gonna come all the way clean it looked like meat canyon made these niggas like i'm gonna come all the way clean. but yo frankie nasty as shit bro he got these nasty ass wrinkles in his head and these nasty ass lips nigga like what the fuck going on with this nigga looking like a goddamn piranha nigga we got zoro in the background looking like yo what's good it's your boy zoro this big thick ass nigga like like what the fuck going on with this nigga man this nigga zoro in the back looking like a phys ed teacher nigga looking like a football coach and oh my god this nigga Usopp, like he got the soldier king mask on nigga like what the fuck going on then he got these striped ass pants these clown ass pants and oh Usopp, you thought i wasn't gonna say nothing nigga Editor, zoom in on those fuck. What the fuck are those on your feet, nigga? Bro got the Pilgrim 12s on, nigga. Bro got the Cobbler 8s on, nigga. Like, 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 bro looking like he making shit out of corn husking nose, nigga. These right here are my slaving boots, nigga. Nasty feet, ass, nigga. Nah, I'm just playing, but yo, the fucking fake straw hats are ugly as shit, bro. Like, like, like I'm gonna come all the way clean. But anyways, the fake straw hats have been pretending to be the straw hats inside by Odie to try to get clout, try to get, you know, props and all that trying to basically get success off of the name of the actual straw hat niggas are goddamn hilarious but this little arc was really meant to show us that the straw hats have advanced in strength by a lot you feel me and, and they did the same pacifistas that made them look like fucking bums they punished them this man tried to shoot luffy this man said weave looking like morpheus from the matrix and shit he dodging light beams and shit zoro masaji with the combo attack taking this dumb ass nigga down this man luffy taking this dumb ass nigga down like 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 bro they out here just punishing shit at this point in the story we realize okay the straw hat's a little bit different and that even gets further pushed by goddamn fishman island bro fishman island is <sighs> listen all right let me let me come clean Oda, i appreciate you for like touching upon like certain politics at fishman island like you was a real nigga for that like you was talking about you know how the fishman hated humans you can replace the fishman with black people and the humans with, with white people and, and it would basically be the same goddamn story like Fisher Tigers, Malcolm X, my nigga, Jim Bay, Martin Luther King, my nigga, like, 
Like, bro, like, you can really create a whole narrative and story behind this. And, and I feel like that's what Oda was going for. He's a real one for that. But besides the cool things, Fishman Island was kind of mid. Like, 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 it was cool, but it was kind of mid. Like, like, bro, Hody Jones. Oh, my God, bro. We are. Right, right, hold on. Let me just start from the beginning. So we get to Fishman Island. And, and, oh, yeah. By the way, there's no fucking way that I'm explaining the entire plot all the way through because f f get the fuck out of here. Bro. Yeah, stop playing with me. Anyways, I'm going to give you all brief summaries of each shit. You feel me? But basically, in Fishman Island, the whole purpose of this arc, in my opinion, was to show that the Straw Hats are built different even more. This was a way for Oda to showcase how strong they are, how far they've come, as far as combat goes, but also to push the relationship between the Straw Hats and the Fishmen. And you feel me? They did. But there's a few goddamn things we got to talk about, bro. First and foremost, my nigga Sanji is down tremendous, bro. Sanji is the biggest simp that I've seen in my goddamn life. And, and, and I love Sanji, but this nigga is a pervert and a and it is what it is like bro we gotta be honest so y'all remember how sanji has his dream where he wants to find the all blue and that's like his big thing right let me tell you about the fucking travesty that is sanji so, so this nigga sees some mermaids at some point right and and usually there's like gags around what sanji sees involving women you feel me so when he sees pretty women he acts up and that's just what sanji does but usually it has no ill will against him it doesn't hurt him at all physically not mentally not emotionally it doesn't really hinder him but for some reason, Oda decided that this time he was going to have Sanji look at these mermaids and not only say I found the all blue pretty much shitting on his dream, but then he had a nosebleed that actually hurt him. This nigga needed a blood transfusion. This nigga had to get a blood transfusion to survive. This nigga was about to die. He had a nosebleed so big because he's a horny pervert that he was going to die from it. Like, 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 bro was really out here with blood loss. Like, I, I never thought that Oda would make this a thing and Oda would like push this whole thing of Sanji having a gag so bad that it hurt him physically until Fishman Island. Yo, the, like, 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 this nigga Sanji is out here. Like, bro, Sanji's one of those niggas, bro, that would buy OnlyFans, bro. Like, he's one of those niggas that will take bitches on a date and be like, yo, so we fucking tonight? And they say nah, and instead of splitting the bill, he'll still pay the bill. You feel me? Like, like Sanji's the type of nigga to be like, I just want to eat your coochie, and that's it. Like, like this nigga Sanji out here, he moving weird, bro. Like, like, like I'm gonna come all the way clean. So basically, he has to get a whole blood transfusion and shit, which I understand Oda was trying to push the whole like how fishmen don't want to share their like blood with humans and, and stuff like that. I understand Oda was pushing that. But Oda, you could have did that with anything else. Why not just have Sanji get fucking injured in a fight and need a blood transfusion? Why did he have to have a nosebleed looking like Niagara Falls was coming out his fucking nostrils, nigga? Like, why did you turn Sanji to a fucking blood fire hydrant to push this fishman human hatred and the themes of the art? That's fucking, oh my God, Oda, fuck. Anyways, besides that though, you know, that was probably my biggest critique of the art. I fucking hated that moment, but other than that, the only other thing that I hated was fucking Hody Jones. This nigga Hody Jones is a fucking bum. Like, like, all right, this is my thing. Most people wouldn't mind Hody Jones if he was a little bit stronger. All Oda had to do was make him a bit stronger and people wouldn't care that he was a fucking bum. But bro, this nigga is trash. Like, like, bro, how as a main antagonist do you lose to fucking Zoro, not even the captain, underwater. This nigga Zoro was beating Hody Jones up underwater. How are you losing underwater? You're a fish. You're a fucking fish. Like, like, oh my God, nigga. What kind of amphibian are you, nigga? You're fucking terrible. Like, oh, yo, somebody get this nigga and ship him to Red Lobster, bro. Get this nigga eight, bro. I'm pulse. But get this nigga the fuck out of here, bro. How do you fight a human being underwater as a fish and you lose? Bro, if the fight didn't get stopped, Zoro was going to kill you. Like, like, oh my God, fuck, Cody Jones, you bum ass nigga. Then you fight this nigga Luffy once again underwater and he's punishing you too. And nigga, you out here eating the perks. This nigga... Hody Jones is eating perks to get stronger, bro. This nigga out here picking perks. This nigga Adderall, whatever you want to call it, bro. He's popping pills. This nigga out here sound like little baby. I just pop like half an Adderall. I don't like perk -aids. Like, bro, this nigga really out here taking pills to get stronger. And he's still losing, bro. How you keep amplifying your strength? just to get bodied again this nigga luffy oh my god and then this nigga luffy hit you with the red hawk underwater bro 
Bro, that's fire. How the fuck did Luffy make fire underwater? I'm gonna come clean, bro. In One Piece, yo, do not try to think about physics at all because uh, there's no goddamn way that physics exists in One Piece, bro. This whole like light speed, this whole like fire underwater shit, all of that shit, bro, is just fiction, bro. Y'all gotta really like understand that it's fiction. Don't hark on it too much because when I seen this fire get started underwater, I'm like, how in the fuck did that happen? Bill Nye taught me how science works nigga and i know that there's no way that fire is getting started underwater nigga what the fuck is that but you know i didn't hark on it too much it's one piece you feel me so you gotta you know have one piece knowledge you feel me like like like, like, like that that's just is what it is but anyways bro hody jones is a fucking bum bro this nigga out here popping perks looking like little baby at javante day why i keep talking about little baby because that nigga little baby was popping pills you feel me Yo, shout out little Baby, though. He's the GOAT. But anyways, he basically looking like a fucking fiend, a fucking pill head, bro. Amplifying his powers, and he still gets bodied. This nigga, Hody Jones, is trash. And then the rest of the fishermen, yo, the straw has completely just bodied these niggas, bro. And this nigga, Luffy, used Conqueror's Hockey, knocks out all the fodder. I'm like, yo, like, yo, these niggas are bums, bro. Fisherman Island was literally just set up for the Straw Hats to look good, bro. That, that's what Oda was trying to do. And that nigga really accomplished it, bro, because these niggas look like fucking gods amongst peasants. They were punishing literally everybody in this arc. It was crazy. But you fucking know that before I move on to the next arc, that I have to get this nigga, Hody Jones, bring your obese surfer looking ass nigga, nasty stepdad, Perry legs looking ass nigga. Then you got these fucking slides on nigga. Like what the fuck? Those aren't Nike slides nigga. What the fuck are those nigga? Then you got this fucking scarf on. So I got to take a, a quick little pause right here, guys. I was about to say something so fucked up about that dog scarf. And, and, and I'm not going to tell you what I was going to say, but all I'm going to say is I had to get it cut out because it, it was kind of, <laughs> uh, let me say, it was, it was racially motivated. You feel me? Like, like, that's all I'm going to say. And I know y'all are thinking like, send yo, like, why don't you just leave it in? You feel me? Like, 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 fuck it. But I, I got my other like bleach video age restricted because I made a joke about, uh, Gen's eyes, y'all probably remember that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. You feel me? Cause you two wasn't playing with that. You feel me? And my fault. You feel me? <laughs> to any communities that felt some type of way, you know what I mean? I'm thinking somebody probably reported that video because I said that. And I understand. You know, I understand. And but anyways, back on this fucking fat ass shark, nigga. Like, what the fuck going on? Then you got this scar on your stomach, nigga. I hope that scar's from when you got fucking gastric bypass, nigga, because you need to lose some weight, nigga. Then you got these long-ass arms, nigga. Why are your arms longer than your body, nigga? Skip leg day like every other One Piece character, nigga. Kaido, your trainer, ain't it? Then you got this nasty, weird bonnet hat. Like, what's going on? What, you a Girl Scout, nigga? Nah, I'm just playing. But anyways, yo, Hody Jones a fucking bum. You feel me? And then that's all y'all need to know. You feel me? But I'm gonna come all the way clean. Fisherman Island, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give every arc a rating. Return to Sabo. 8 out of 10. Fishman Island, I'm giving it seven and a half out of 10. But now we moving on, you feel me? We getting past Fishman Island, nigga, Mid Midland Island, nigga. Feel me? Midland Saga, nigga. And I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yo, shout out my nigga Finland Saga. But anyways, then we moving on past Fishman Island to Punk Hazard. My least favorite arc post time skip. One of my least favorite arcs, period, bro. I hate this arc, but you know, it's cool. We're we gonna talk about it, and we, but we're not gonna talk about it that much because I, I really don't like this arc that much. I, I'm gonna come all the way clean. So basically, in one piece fashion, these niggas are traveling and they hear this weird ass thing over this like snail sponder. You feel me? They hear this weird ass noise. And in regular one piece fashion, like I said, the adventurous niggas that they are, they was like, let's go check this out. So they go check it out, bro, when they find this island, bro. And they see this island is like all lava and ice. Quick little detour, I'm gonna tell you why this island is made out of lava and ice, bro. This nigga Akainu and this nigga Aokiji fought for 10 days, nigga. 10, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, nigga, 10 days they fought, bro. And they fought so much that they changed the climate of the fucking island. These niggas are built entirely different, nigga. Yo, this nigga Aokiji came out with a missing leg. Akainu came out with a nasty scar. Like, bro, these niggas went to battle, nigga. This nigga Aokiji has a prosthetic ice leg now, nigga. He was an amputee after this fight. This nigga really moving like Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump, nigga. Like, yo, this shit crazy. But just to give y'all context, like, bro, I'm gonna come clean. Like, did y'all hear my voice crack, nigga? That, like, 
bro, I'm out here sounding like my nigga Treasy for real. Like, 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 like. Yo, I got this homie Treasy, bro. Like, like, this is so unrelated. But one day, this nigga, bro, we sitting in this motherfucking VC, bro. We on stream, bro. My homie Postal come in. He's talking about how his sister's over. This nigga Treasy goes, does your sister have a fatty? Bro, this nigga voice cracked, bro. It was the funniest shit ever, bro. I'm, like, I'm gonna come all the way clean, like, 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 what the fuck going on with your voice, nigga? Sound like a Windex bottle, nigga. But anyways, fuck all that. Back to Punk Hazard. Yo, these niggas are built different. That's all you need to know. And the island changed because of it. So when he gets to this island, this is where Zoro fights the fucking fake ass dragon. You feel me? That you feel me got created and shit. We also learn about like lineage factor. We learn about like artificial devil fruits and shit. All this shit. You feel me? All this boring ass shit nobody cares about for real. We also meet Caesar. He's the antagonist. And Caesar kind of mid in Punk Hazard. I like him more in Dress Rosa. You feel me? Yo, shout out my nigga Caesar and all that. But you feel me? Caesar cool though. And like, I don't got no problem with Caesar. We also meet Kinemon. We also meet Momo and Kanjiro here. You feel me? Now, the whole dynamic between Kinemon and Sanji, I hate it, bro. Let's talk about that first. So, this entire time throughout this arc, Kinemon has gotten cut into pieces by Trafalgar D. Water Law. Yeah, yeah, Law is here. You feel me? And, 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 and Smoker. And we meet Virgo. Bro, there's a lot of niggas in here. But, anyways, this man Sanji has been chasing Kinemon, not chasing, but running around with him this entire time trying to find his body parts sanji a real nigga niggas be like sanji don't do nothing for men for real but he helped this man find his whole body like come on bro this nigga was playing operation with this nigga kenny mine this whole time bro he putting this here you feel me left arm here and put your right arm now and put your left on here and then shake it all about like, like, like he was out here helping my man kenny mine come back together like he was putting a puzzle together and all that Yo, stop playing with my nigga Sanji like he don't fuck with niggas and shit. He fuck with dudes too, for real. Like he buy for real. No, I'm playing, but anyways, that shit was bothering me. Then it, like these niggas, because of fucking law, law was switching everybody's conscience and, and bodies and shit. So like Nami was Sanji and then like Chopper's another nigga. Like, bro, he was switching around everybody's bodies and shit. So that was super confusing the whole time. I'm like, what straw had his witch? Bro, the anime made it so confusing. Then this nigga Zoro get bodied by the Yeti cool brother. Bro, it was some weird shit there was a bunch of weird shit happening in this art bro i'm gonna come all the way clean but it was some fire shit that happened it was some fire shit that happened too you feel me we gonna talk about the fire shit first and foremost my nigga chopper got an awesome moment in this fucking art he got to be a doctor you feel me once again niggas be like chopper is not a doctor chopper barely does any doctor shit what the fuck are you talking about he helped the kids in punk hazard he saved everybody and so like what are you talking about he don't do no fucking doctor shit then he cured the ice only virus and wine like like what are we talking about what are we talking about? My nigga Chopper is built different. Stop playing. Big Chopper. Nigga, stop playing with him for real, nigga. Y'all be acting like he ain't no fucking doctor. What the fuck is he then? A nurse, nigga? He not no nurse, nigga. He out here helping niggas. Yo, stop playing with Chopper. Real rap. Yo, y'all be having me tight for real. Like, I'm really about to get mad. But anyways, you feel me? Chopper got a good moment. Yo, we got the Virgo and Smoker fighting. I don't know if y'all seen this in the anime, but this fight was fucking crazy, bro. Like, like, oh my God, nigga, this fight was fire, nigga. I don't know what bag they got in in this fight, bro, but they had these niggas going crazy, bro. But we got to talk about the Smoker Virgo fight in more details because shout out to my nigga Vori, you feel me? Hey, Vori, you feel me? Yo, step in here real quick and tell these niggas about this fucking Smoker and Virgo fight, you feel me? Because they really got you fucked up. I said, let me let me take over, you know what I'm saying? Let me talk to him real quick. Let me talk to their songs, see? So the fight starts off with them clashing, right? Evenly, by the way. I don't know why people don't, you know, take this into account. And Virgo tries to surprise attack Smoker, and I'm like, oh, hold up. You didn't even hit him with a surprise attack? That's kind of a bum move, I ain't gonna lie. My nigga Smoker really different. Like, it really looked like he got some advanced observation hockey going on. I don't know what's going on with him because, like, it formed around the attack, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, bro. We about to boycott Toei for this because the only reason this fight is so misconstrued is because of the anime. Like, my boy Virgo was putting the beats on Smoker in the anime. Pause. But it looked way more even in the manga, bro. Like, Smoker was really doing my guy greasy, bro. Low key like before he started spreading his body out now nah, pause again that was crazy spread what he was the only one that even got a fair attack in bro this is what i'm trying to say to people they're not listening though but they're not woke but you know what i'm saying when my boy come back in this story you know what i'm saying my boy about to be elite and then at the end of the fight he literally says to law that my objective wasn't to beat him you know what i'm saying we're even now i was trying to get your heart back and that's why he spread his body apart and that's why he started getting beat on no 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 bro 
third strike you're out and i ain't gonna lie i might have to hit oda with the overhand right for this because he's the only logia that can't spew his element out without it being part of his body that doesn't even make sense like that loki breaks everything we've been told up to this point yo like i, I was really tight about that but to summarize, you know what I'm saying? Smoker got the only clean hit in before he spread his body out to put him at a disadvantage that Virgo himself even pointed out. And he wasn't even trying to fight him really. He was trying to get Law's heart back. But uh, yeah, that's enough for Channel 5 News. Back to you, Sin. Yo, as y'all heard from my nigga Vori, matter of fact, shout out to my nigga Vori too, for real. Subscribe to his channel. He got fire One Piece content. Stop fucking playing with my brother. Yo, real rap. Like, go subscribe to my fucking brother. This is my real brother. Like, he live with me and all that. It's my brother. Like, Yo, stop. Like, like, this ain't fake shit, nigga. But anyways, y'all got my nigga Smoker fucked all the way up, nigga. He wasn't really losing. Like, 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 like he changed his fighting style up and all that. But he was really doing his thing. Like, okay. So, Carcoon is here. Carcoon has made a fucking appearance, nigga. Oh, I have been waiting so long for this nigga, yo. Because I knew that this nigga Carcoon was going to come and fuck my video up today. When I'm talking about my favorite fucking series, nigga. <sighs> Yo, one second, yo, one second, yo, because this nigga got me fucked up for real. Hey, bitch! Hey, who the fuck are you talking to? Fuck you, buddy! What are you fucking Canadian, nigga? Like, what you mean, buddy? What the fuck is that, nigga? What you Briggs, nigga? What you nuts, nigga? Like, 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 what the fuck going on? I will beat the fuck out you, nigga. Come here. What's up? What's up? Hold on a minute. Who the fuck are you talking to, buddy? Who you talking to, pal? Hold on. Hold on. Fuck that. Skirt! Oh shit, oh shit, this nigga about to run me over, nigga, what the fuck, what the fuck? No, fuck that. Gamu, Gamu, no! Elephant's a gun! Oh my god, what the fuck? Nigga, I don't know what I'm more scared about, pal. The fact that my car is flipped over or the fact that your arm is so fucking big. What happened to you? Yeah, nigga, you know what the fuck is going on, nigga? Yo, stop, yo, come here, bitch, come Bitch, 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 please stop it. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. My kids are watching. Nigga, fuck your kids, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Yo, if you fuck my video up again, nigga, I swear to God, yo, stop fucking playing with me, bitch ass nigga. Oh shit, the cops, nigga. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god, nigga. What the fuck? I just had to spit blood on my mouth, nigga. I just got in the, I just got in a little scrape, you feel me? But <clears throat> anyways, nigga, so uh what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. Man, f man, stop playing with Big Smoker, nigga. He built different, nigga. But anyways, you feel me? That fight was fucking gas, nigga. Like, like I'm gonna come all the way clean. But then when we thought all was fucking lost, man, this nigga Law came in being the fucking G he is. And oh my God, this nigga Law is so goddamn drippy, nigga. Like, bro, I don't know what bag Oda was in with Virgo and Law, yo. But he had these niggas looking clean, nigga. Like, 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 bro, like. I I swear to God, these niggas drippy, nigga. Like, bro, like, I was looking at these niggas, and I was like, man, I really want to flame these niggas, man. But I was like, man, I can't even do it for real. Like, I was like, man, these niggas is too goddamn clean. But you know, I want to be me if I ain't get these niggas, man. I don't give a fuck how clean you is, nigga. The fuck going on, man? Uh, Woody from Toy Story, wedge boots having that, nigga. Fat ass hat having ass, nigga. A cow on your head, ain't it? The fuck going on with you, nigga? Then you walk around with this long ass ass robe jacket on with no shirt on nigga what the fuck nigga what you magic mike nigga what you think you a stripper nigga look the fuck out of here nigga nigga what the fuck going on you got these freaking pants on nigga then we got these fucking spots on your pants and shit nigga like what's up what you want spots nigga like you like you want to be a cow so bad bitch i'm a cow bitch i'm a cow moo nigga if you don't get your doja cat head ass the fuck out of here nigga nah i'm just playing yo law my nigga for real you feel me stop playing with big law then we got this nigga virgo for real and i'm gonna come clean that nigga virgo too clean bro like like he's just too clean for real so i'm not even gonna psych nigga a nasty puffer jacket nigga the fuck going on nigga who the fuck told you that was clean nigga i ain't gonna lie your hairline mad clean nigga but what the fuck happened to your beard, nigga? Nigga went in and said, y'all want the Appalachian chain on my motherfucking chin, nigga. Nasty mountain chin having ass, nigga. Then you ain't got no mustache, nigga. What the fuck? Pencil shavings mustache having ass, nigga. The inside of a sharpener lip having ass, nigga. 
Look like somebody blew lawn trimmings on top of your fucking lip, nigga. The fuck going on with you, man? Then are you white or Hispanic, nigga? Like, what the fuck going on, nigga? A nasty rectangle glasses, nigga. Then your eyebrow was mad protruding, nigga. Like, you got two ball sacks on your face, nigga. Nah, I'm just playing, but my nigga Virgo clean for real. Shut out my nigga Virgo and all that. But this nigga Law show up super drippy, and he bodied this nigga Virgo. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Like, like, like it wasn't even fucking close. <sighs> It was a low diff, bro. Neck diff, for real. But anyways, Punk Hazard was cool, for real. Like, like the whole premise of this motherfucking arc, basically, was that Caesar was working on these kids. Pulse. That was mad weird. Like, 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 what's this nigga? Michael Jackson? But anyways, nah, he, he was doing some shit with these kids, trying to turn them into giants and shit, giving them candy that was really drugs. This nigga really out here Cosby and kids and shit, giving them fucking drugs and shit. Like, like what the fuck going on with Caesar? Can somebody call the cops on this nigga? Arrest him. Put him in impel down. Why is he doing weird? weird shit with children and why is niggas just letting it happen like 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 i'm gonna come all the way clean like what the fuck going i don't go lie to gastino for me dress rosa was cool and all that don't stop playing anyways chopper fucking hates what this nigga caesar's doing he reverses the effects because he's a real nigga you feel me stop playing with big chop chop you feel me like but anyways that was the whole premise of this we learned that caesar was working with vegapunk before we learned that momo got kaido's fruit and all that like a fake version like like it's kind of crazy kini my conjuro momo joined the crew they they basically are like part of the crew now they've been part of the crew for mad long they got some shit going on in wano that we'll talk about in the wano hood review but they basically see that the straw hats are strong and they're like man be cool if we can get them to help for real like that's basically what i took from it you feel me like i'm gonna come all the way clean they really some leech and all that not but they cool though. i fuck with them but after punk hazard you feel me my least favorite art in post time skip you feel me stop playing we move on to fucking dress rosa the straw hats law kinemon momonosuke they all head to dress rosa they got caesar of course and they're trying to make a deal with this nigga Dolph flamingo you feel me and they also want to fuck his smile factory up and they want to free the samurai comrade conjuro you feel me now now i'm gonna come all the way clean now i said earlier you feel me i, I was like <laughs> off my fucking rocker I forgot that Conjuro was in fucking Dress Rosa for some reason. My dumb ass. But anyways, uh, retcon what I said earlier about Conjuro, nigga. Like, 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 he's here. You feel me? I'm a little rusty and all that. Like, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm be honest. You feel me? But I've been jogging my memory. I've been rereading shit. You feel me? I'm really out here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm on my librarian shit. I'm out here rechecking out volumes, rereading. You feel me? Getting my smarts up. You feel me? Get my intelligence up. It'll stop playing with me. But anyways, so we get the motherfucking Dress Rosa, the second longest arc in fucking One Piece. We meet so many goddamn characters in this arc. So many goddamn things happen in this arc. Bro, there's no fucking way that I'm talking about every single thing that happened to Dress Rosa, bro. It's just too goddamn many things that happen. I'm gonna come all the way clean, bro. Like, like, like goddamn, like, like this nigga Oda could have made an entire anime just out of Dress Rosa, nigga. Like, bro, like, like, it's crazy. So basically, once we get here, we find out that there's this fucking Coliseum, right? First thing I'm thinking is, nigga, what we about to see the gladiator nigga like 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 what the fuck about to happen but nah this nigga luffy of course being luffy enters his fucking coliseum he wants to win this tournament we see a bunch of new characters you feel me some funny looking ass niggas like i'm gonna come all the way clean but we also see some old niggas too you feel me like we see burgess come back and i'm like this nigga burgess from the blackbeard pirates what the fuck is this wrestling ass nigga doing here nigga what is this wwe world champion looking ass nigga this fucking ultimate warrior looking ass nigga like what the fuck is he doing here but basically the winner of this coliseum gets the mara mara fruit you feel me which is which is ace's fruit you feel me rest in peace my nigga ace and all that now you know later on we find out that this nigga you feel me sabo gets the fruit we gonna talk about that but this fucking coliseum is one of the realest parts of this fucking art bro it, it's mad fire because it's just fucking hands nigga hey y'all know i love fucking hands bro like i'm gonna come all the way clean there's no goddamn way i'm about to sit here and talk about every fucking character but i'm gonna run through some of my favorites you feel me first off we got my nigga elizabello you feel me i gotta talk about him yo this nigga got the king punch you feel me he winding this shit up like the nigga from hunter hunter and all that but yo they talking about this punch could take out a yonko so i gotta see this nigga punch kaido real soon like bro uh, like older you gotta draw that for us or something give us that in the sbs or something my nigga like like what would have happened if elizabello used the king punch on that nigga like like would it really have taken him out because i'm calling cap on that for real but yo shout out my nigga elizabello you feel me shout out my nigga fucking bartolomeo bro the fucking goat nigga the biggest simp for the straw hats there is nigga like i think the thing that is so cool about fucking bartolomeo is the fact that he's us this nigga is literally just us bro like 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 bro like this nigga older literally made a character 
that is a depiction of what we would do if we saw the straw hats he's the fanboy but i fuck with this nigga bro and he got the barrier fruit and this motherfucking barrier fruit is impossible to get through bro like like, like i'm gonna be all the way clean like I'm talking, this motherfucking barrier fruit is like my ex-girlfriend if I tried to leave the house after 8 p.m., you feel me? The way that bitch is blocking shit resembles how my bitch was blocking me from getting outside, you feel me? I'm gonna come all the way clean. But even though that nigga Bartolomeo was mad cool, bro, you know that I got to get this nigga, bro, because what the fuck is going on? Why are you dressed like Ozzy Osmore looking ass nigga, a uh, celery cut looking ass nigga? Like, what's going on with your hair, nigga? Went to the barber and said, let me get the cabbage patch, nigga. Then we got these nasty ass robes on, nigga. Nigga dressed like royalty, nigga, a Game of Thrones character, nigga, King Joffrey robes dressing ass nigga. Then this nigga got this nasty ass septum piercing, nigga. Like, what the fuck going on with you? A uh, bull dyke, ain't it? A uh, underlay, underlay, e i e i oh, oh, <laughs> matador looking that nigga big dracula teeth having that nigga big nasty can opener teeth no i'm just playing my nigga bartomato fucking goat man i'ma come all the way clean with it we got my nigga high rusian you feel me yo shout out to the giants and all that you know what i mean yo carcoon in the back for real i swear to god i swear to god yo like don't let me get a devil fruit, you feel me? But anyways, oh, and plain coon in the air too? Oh, that's crazy. But anyways, nah, real shit though. My nigga Harujan, real nigga, you feel me? Shout out to the motherfucking giants and all that. Then we got this nigga Don Jin Jao, you feel me? Now, Don Chin Jao, bro, I I'm gonna come all the way clean, yo. We find out that this nigga Chin Jao was like a former rival to fucking Gart. And that this nigga has conquerors hockey. But bro, this nigga's head is like slumped, you feel me? And niggas is like, what happened to your head, nigga? Like, like, what's going on? We find out, yo, that this nigga Garp hit this nigga in the head so hard that his shit is bent. And it's been bent like that forever. This nigga Garp really bent this nigga's head back. Like, like, bro, like, yo, this nigga head, like antenna head having that nigga, the cone heads having ass nigga, traffic cone head having that nigga. Like, like, what the fuck going on? A oil filter head having that nigga. Then the top of your head looking like a goddamn bendy straw, nigga. Like, what are you, a smoothie? Nigga, 1990s diner, nigga. Malt milkshake straw having that, nigga. Like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Beep, beep, beep. Yo, somebody get this motherfucker. A crane head having that, nigga. Call the crane in. We got a building to move, nigga. Why your shit meant like that? Nah, I'm just playing, but... This nigga Jinjao cool for real, but he a bum. My nigga Gart really punched this nigga in the head and had his shit slipped all the way back. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. But it's like mad characters that I fuck with, you feel me? I'm not gonna talk about all the fucking characters, niggas, a lot of them, but you know what I mean? A lot of these niggas end up joining the Grand Fleet, you know what I mean? The Straw Hat Grand Fleet and all that, you know what I mean? And that's fire. But fast forward through all the boring ass shit, we find out that this nigga Sabo's still alive. Now I gotta talk about this nigga Sabo real quick, bro. I don't wanna spend too much time on this, bro, but y'all seen the ASL flashback. And for y'all niggas that don't know, y'all niggas that's slow, the ASL flashback is a Sabo Luffy, you feel me? They was kids, they was growing up, they was punishing grown ass men, beating them with pipes, pulse. These niggas was going crazy. They end up having a drink together, we all, we brothers, blah, blah, blah. This nigga Sabo ends up trying to leave because he got a weird ass white privilege ass pappy this fucking dad out here you feel me with the <laughs> with the triple k's you feel me and i can't say it you feel me because i don't want my video getting demonetized but his dad out here with the white robes on you feel me like he on that relationship anyways his dad really out here on that super rich pompous i don't like black people type vibe you feel me but cyber one with that you know I mean he want to be a pirate and shit he want to leave he ends up getting you know brought in by the nigga dragon and all that like dragon how you gonna take care of a nigga cyber and not take care of your own son though like that's the thing i'm not understanding we're gonna talk about your deadbeat ass later but long story short this nigga cyber ended up getting fucking amnesia you feel me and that's why he didn't know what was going on he he didn't remember luffy didn't remember ace none of that shit but he got his memories back <clears throat> plot convenience but anyways we end up finding out this nigga sabo alive and sabo gets ace's fruit so now everybody makes all the fucking jokes oh that's diet ace you feel me and i'm just like how can he be diet ace and he doesn't have a donut hole i'm just kidding <laughs> that was too far my fault y'all but anyways yo <laughs> ace fans don't attack me for real stop playing so later in the story some funny shit happens with sabo versus burgess and we're gonna talk about that because this wrestling ass nigga's a bump but fast forward a little bit later, we find out a few things here, man. A lot of shit happens in this fucking art, bro. It's a lot, bro. A fucking ton. We find out that this nigga Fujitora is here. Now, Fujitora got brought up through the fucking draft system. This nigga a fucking admiral that got brought up. You know what I mean? He didn't even have to work hard to be a fucking admiral. You feel me? Like, like he, he just strong. And niggas was like, oh, yo, this nigga Fujitora and Green Bull strong. Let's just bring them up. You feel me? 
There was also two other candidates that didn't make it, I guess. Forgot their names. I know one of y'all dweeb ass niggas in the comments to tell me. Feel me? Shout out to the dweebs. But oh my god, this nigga Fuji Tour is a fucking goat, bro. When I first seen this nigga in the beginning of the art, you feel me? Zoro and all them, they all walk into this little bar and she in there gambling. And we find out this nigga really Ray Charles with it. This nigga Stevie Wonder with it. Like this nigga out here blind, but he cold as shit. I was like, yo, I fuck with this nigga. Any old blind nigga I fuck with. Y'all know the old blind nigga from Doro Row? <laughs> For y'all Doro Row fans, you feel me? He a goat. I like old blind niggas. They cool, bro. And then I found out this nigga has gravity powers. And this nigga be bringing down fucking meteors, nigga. Bro, this nigga is built entirely different. Like, this nigga has observation hockey mixed with his fucking gravity to pull meteors that's close to the atmosphere far. I don't really know how far, but he pulls meteors down, nigga. I'm gonna come clean, bro. Anybody with a power like that is the fucking goat. He has enough power. He could probably destroy earth and i know one piece world is probably different than earth but you bring down enough meteors on earth nigga earth is done like I, i'm gonna come all the way clean like this nigga really is the reason for the dinosaurs being extinct like this nigga's really built different and then he got the cool ass scar on his eye yo oda be putting cool ass scars on all the swordsmen bro i'm gonna come all the way clean fujitora scar Rayleigh, scar zoro scar wait does me all have a scar i don't think so that's crazy. But Shanks, Scar, you feel me? Like, niggas be having scars, you feel me? And that Scar shit is fire, nigga. Even recently in Wano, you feel me? I ain't gonna spoil. But it's a swordsman that y'all gonna meet for y'all anime only. You feel me? That got a scar, you feel me? Oh my fucking God. But anyways, by the way, I know I said we're not talking about Wano. So for all y'all anime only, if you made it this far, don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil y'all anything. You feel me? Like, like, I'm gonna come all the way clean for niggas that's already watched the Red One Piece and just wanted to hear my thoughts. You feel me? Like, and I appreciate y'all for watching y'all real niggas. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. I love y'all niggas. But for y'all new niggas, you feel me? I'm trying not to spoil every fucking thing because I want y'all to go read and watch One Piece. And One Piece is mad long. Like, and this video was mad long. Like, I'm gonna come clean. But anyways, so we met Fuji Tour. We talked about blah, 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 blah. All right, boom. Let's talk about the different straw hat fights that I fucked with. So I'm not gonna talk about every single fight, but I gotta talk about a few. Usopp versus Sugar. Fire. Sugar be turning people into fucking dolls. This bitch is the reason Chucky exists, bro. Like, yo, for y'all niggas that don't know what Chucky is or haven't seen Chucky, hey, I would like to play with you. Like, that weird-ass doll nigga, like, yo, she is one of those bitch. She created these problems. Like, she be making real people into dolls. The whole city of Dress Rosa, a lot of these niggas is dolls, bro. And it's because of fucking sugar. But my nigga Usopp, you feel me, had to come clutch. And for the first time, this nigga Usopp out here using goddamn hockey, bro. And I won't tell you what kind of hockey or in what context, but oh my fucking God. This nigga Usopp is the fucking goat, bro. I love this nigga. But anyways, he ends up beating Sugar, you feel me? And he saves all the fucking citizens that got turned into toys. And this nigga Usopp a fucking goat, bro. But I'm gonna come clean. Usopp be doing a lot of shit. And I, and I respect it, you feel me? But, but he also does shit and gets credit for shit that he didn't do. Like, bro, they put a statue up for this nigga. Oh, my God, bro, this nigga. Anyways, fuck all that. Yo, Frankie versus fucking Senior Pink. Oh, my God. When you see Senior Pink and, 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 and when you look at him and his character design, you gonna look at this nigga and be like, there's no goddamn way that this nigga is cold. But, oh, my God, he is. But you know, before we go any fucking further, send your pink, bring your big Gerber baby dressing ass to the front, nigga. The fuck going on with you, nigga? A uh, little man, Marlon Wayne's looking at, nigga. A grown ass baby, ain't it? And then you got this nasty ass Speedo in his half belly shirt on, nigga. Shakira, Shakira. Ooh, baby, when you dance like that, nigga. A nasty belly dancer looking at, nigga. Belly hanging over the front, nigga. Belly like to be continued. Big belly ass, nigga. Then you got these nasty ass Speedo on, boy. This nasty star Speedo, nigga. Sharp. <laughs> Y'all about to say Sharpedo from Pokemon. <laughs> I'm wildin'. But nigga, fuck all that nigga. Nasty speedo looking at nigga. And then you got this fucking baby bib on with this scarf. Like, what the fuck going on? And I'm gonna come all the way clean like you not color coordinated at all. Pink bib, purple scarf, dark blue shirt, yellow letters, yellow speedo with orange stars, nigga. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, why your speedo look like a flaming hot Cheeto bag? Your shirt look like a Navy SEAL uniform. And then your top half look like a homosexual stripper, nigga. Like, like I'm gonna come all the way clean. You're not fly. Like, nah, I'm just playing. You feel me? But my nigga sing your pink, even though his drip ain't all there. You feel me? And even though this nigga spilling off the sides, nigga, like a full cup of soda, nigga. You know what I mean? And this nigga looking like a hefty bag. Like, even though my nigga ain't really all that when it comes to character design. 
He's cold. And he has one of the coldest backstories that I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And I can't wait for y'all to see that shit, bro. That fight is so crazy. To this day, one of my favorite fights in fucking One Piece anime, bro. I'm going to come all the way clean. But fuck all that, bro. Now we're at the fucking main event, bro. We got Sabo versus Burgess. And we got Dolphy versus Law and fucking Luffy. Now, I'm not going to talk about Quarter Zone and Law's backstory and Dolphy's backstory. Well, I'm going to talk about Dolphy's backstory a little bit, but I ain't going to talk about like the Law and Quarter Zone shit because that, that, that's a lot, bro. And I really don't want to ruin that for y'all. But this nigga Dolphy, all right, editor, you know what time it is. Play the fucking menacing music. This nigga Dolphy is one of the realest niggas I have ever seen. Bro, this nigga does everything for him goddamn self, bro. And you know how I feel about those niggas. That's why I said Blackbeard a real nigga. Y'all was mad at me for saying that, but the real niggas understood, you feel me? And, and, and I respect that. But this nigga Dolphy is a fucking menace. His fucking mom dies, right? And not only does his mom die, right after this, this nigga walks up and blicks his own father. This nigga killed his dad. Oh my God, this nigga is different. And not only did he kill his dad, later on, he kills his own brother too. Like, bro, this nigga Dolphy does not give a fuck about anybody. And it's alluded to that the shorty he was fucking around with, he might have been R-wording her. And I'ma come clean, yo. If he was R-wording her, bro, that is crazy. This nigga, lock him up. I'm glad he's an impel down. Keep him there, nigga. I would never wish jail on anybody, but this nigga needs to be there, bro. Like, like, something going on with this nigga, bro. I'ma come all the way clean. But something I'm not going to neglect is the fact that this nigga is the drippiest nigga that I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Him and Law are so fucking drippy, bro. It's fucking ridiculous. This nigga has the fucking killer cam pink fucking jacket on, bro. And I, oh my God, bro. And, and y'all know, y'all know, bro. Y'all know that I fuck with Cameron so fucking much, bro. Like, 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 oh my fucking God. Like my nigga killer cam. Like, bro, I'm not even going to speak on it. You know what I'm going to do, yo? You know what I'm going to fucking do for you? G give me give me one second. Give me one fucking second, bro. Listen to this, man. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You feel me? That's all I gotta do is play that for y'all, nigga. Stop playing with Cameron, nigga. Y'all know what the fuck going on, bro. That's my fucking guy, bro. I know y'all like, damn, this nigga sent put a rap in this shit. Bro, I rap in the beginning, so I had to put my nigga Killer Cam on here. You feel me? Stop playing with Cameron. But that's why I fuck with this nigga Dolph Flamingo so goddamn much, bro. <sighs> this nigga the GOAT. But anyways, he's also my favorite antagonist next to Crocodile. You feel me? Stop playing with both of them, for real. But anyways, this nigga Dolph Flamingo's a fucking menace. And not only was he fighting Luffy, he was fighting Law. Let me explain to you what this nigga Dolphy went through in this fight with these niggas. Not only did he have a birdcage up, this nigga got hit with a gamma knife, which fucked up his entire intestines. And then he had to use his string devil fruit to hold his intestines together while fighting these niggas. He also went through two fucking rounds of gear four. He went through the first round of gear four. And then this nigga Luffy had to be run around town for 10 minutes by the fucking civilians just to come back to beat this nigga Dolphy. This nigga Dolphy's the GOAT. Like, stop playing with my nigga, bro. But then let's talk about this fat ass, dumb ass, big, top heavy ass nigga Burgess, right? Why is this WWE world champion ass nigga getting folded like this? Like, like, Sabo's strong, so it's like, I expected it. But bro, it was a goddamn neck diff, bro. This man Sabo is really punishing niggas. This nigga Burgess came to the stage with the fucking Stone Cold music playing. Dan, da, da, dan, da, dan, da, dan. Like, nigga came down like, yeah, I'm about to reclaim the title. Nigga, eh, wrong, nigga. This man Sabo got you down for the three count so goddamn quick, nigga. How you lose to diet eight? No, I'm just kidding, yo. 
Hey, chill. That's the second time I said die A's. I know y'all. I know y'all probably on me right now. Like, chill. I'm just, I'm just playing. Y'all relax. Like, relax. But long story short, they end up defeating this nigga. You feel me? Bird just gets defeated. But I will say this, though. Some wild shit happened. So Burgess did help out. You feel me? He finds out about the location, the hideout of Dragon the Revolutionaries. Apparently, Blackbeard and these niggas pulled up and the Revolutionaries had left or was already gone. I don't fucking remember. All I know is that made them niggas look kind of soft. Now, I don't know if Dragon was there or not. I really don't know. <laughs> Again, I know y'all dweeb niggas gonna tell me in the comments, but if my nigga Dragon was there and fled off, that nigga really is a bitch. Like, that nigga fled from the headquarters like he fled from Luffy's life. You feel me? I ain't forget about you, Debbie. That's nigga. We gonna talk about you, Jank Freaks. <laughs> I'm saying, but uh, long story short, though, they defeat this nigga Dolphy and they get rid of the fucking factory. But, ah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. This nigga Kata was not too happy and he was not too, too happy about this. Like, like, like. This nigga was in the caves drinking. This nigga crying. He depressed and shit. Like, like, this nigga Kaido out here like, oh my God, nigga. Them niggas really got rid of my factory. Like, that's fucking crazy. Like, yo, yo, get the boats ready. Yo, get the straps. Like, like, I swear to God, I'ma fucking kill these niggas, yo. If I see this nigga Luffy, bro, I'ma fucking murder him, yo. I swear to God. Like, this nigga Kaido in the cave really going through it. This nigga drinking like, somebody get this nigga an AA meeting fast, bro. Like, goddamn. Anyways, we're done with fucking Dress Rosa. Let's go, bro. Dress Rosa was fire, bro. Let's go to the fucking Zo arc, my favorite post time skip arc. Oh my god, cause we get to meet the fucking Minx. And yes, I know y'all are like, Sin, are you a furry, nigga? Yes, nigga, fuck it, I don't care, nigga. If y'all call me a furry, if I gotta be a furry to like the Minx, then fuck it, I'm a furry. Because Nekomamushi's my fucking favorite character, nigga. I don't end the whole series. I love cats, nigga. I swear to God, I love cats, nigga. I don't know y'all like. There's a bunch of Mink cats. Why you fuck with Neko so much, bro? First off, he's strong. Second off, this nigga has lightning powers. You feel me? Like the rest of the Mink. So you feel me? I mean, it's not really special. Third of all, this nigga has a really cool form that y'all might not know about. You know what I mean? But y'all will learn about later. Actually, y'all do know about it because y'all seen carrots. This nigga has a too long form. You feel me? The Uzaru of One Piece. Look at the moon get stronger and all that. And this nigga has a fucking Garfield reference. This nigga sitting in a jacuzzi eating lasagna like fucking Garfield. Old as the goats. <sighs> but anyways, the Minx end up fighting this nigga Jack the Drought. Now, Jack the Drought. <sighs> I don't know if I should play the menace of music for this nigga or if I should clown this nigga. So, editor, cue the confused music. Like, 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 find music that 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 is kind of like odd, like maybe the, the Twilight Zone music or like like the X Files music. Like, I don't know, like some sort of just confused because I'm confused on this nigga. I'm conflicted because let me break this nigga Jack down. All right, let, let's talk about pros and cons. All right, we'll go with the cons first. First off, he's fighting my fucking. You feel me? Somebody called Peter. This nigga's abusing animals. Like, 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 get this nigga the fuck out of here. Get him canceled. But nah, this nigga be taking hella L's. Like, all this nigga do is lose. And this nigga's built mad funny. Like, like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Like, why do you look like that? Why do all the fucking calamities outside of King and even the fucking Captain Kaido, why do they all skip leg day? Where are y'all's legs at? Like, my nigga, y'all are torsos and that's it. Like, somebody get these niggas a wheelbarrow. Somebody fucking carry these niggas around you feel me like these niggas look weird then oh my god then this nigga is an elephant fishman but i mean my nigga i digress but anyways there's some cons to this nigga but let's break down the pros you feel me because I, I gotta i gotta get some respect to my nigga jack you feel me so basically my nigga jack you feel me in a lot of different ways is a real nigga because at the end of the day yes he takes l's but look who he takes l's to an entire army and mix feel me took an l you feel me it is what it is he takes an L to a fleet admiral and a, well, a former fleet admiral and a current admiral. You know what I mean? Strong again. He takes a fucking loss to a Sulong army and two Sulong dukes. You feel me? And then there's another loss. You feel me? I guess another strong opponent. I can't really tell y'all because it's a spoiler. Now it's a lot of losses, but he loses to really strong niggas. Like he should be losing these fights. That's the thing. You feel me? Like in one piece, niggas can lose, but they're supposed to lose. Like, like, like I'm going to be all the way clean. Like come all the way clean with it. So I can't really hate on Jack too much. So anyways, Jack is fighting the minx and the straw hats show up. You feel me? Kinemon, Kondro, all them niggas. They come in here to get Rizo. You feel me? Which, you know, I don't want to really spoil the Rizo safe moment. It, it's too crazy but Zoe was really a short ass art what's important here is that this nigga Sanji has a new bounty increase you feel me and it says that 
it's 330 million, I think, but not dead or but not dead or alive. Nah, this nigga's dad, Vin Smoke Judge, this bitch. At, oh my god, I can't wait to talk about weird ass Germa. But anyways, this nigga Germa, you feel me? Germa 66 and all that. The cyborg gay Power Rangers and all that. But anyways, these niggas have made his bounty this way because they need him to marry this bitch pudding to connect an alliance between Germa and Big Mom. It is the weirdest situation ever. But Capone Beige and Peckham show up. This nigga Capone Beige got a Colombian cigar in his fucking mouth. This nigga getting emphysema, lung cancer and all that. He's like, today on the day of my daughter's wedding or wait, Today, on the day of this fat bitch Big Mom's wedding, we need you to marry Pudding. And if you don't, the Straw Hats are gonna get it. See? So basically, Sanji has to leave. He has to leave the Straw Hats and he has to abandon ship so he can protect them. Now, this don't sit right with Luffy. Luffy's like, leave the Straw Hats? <laughs> you feel me? Hell no. So this nigga Luffy goes to whole cake while the rest of the Straw Hats go to Wano. Wano is a whole nother video. You feel me? Make sure y'all get this. Do you feel me? Like, what did I say? 3,000 likes or 5,000? I don't remember. But you get them likes up. You feel me? And join my stream. You feel me? Follow me on Twitch. Like, come on. Like, since they streaming. Link in the description, join Discord. But anyways, though, this nigga Sanji goes to Whole Cake Island. You feel me? He's going to go through with the wedding because he needs to protect the Straw Hats and protect Zeph. They done threaten both of these niggas' families. They ain't shit. But anyways, this nigga Luffy is not having it. So Luffy and some of the other Straw Hats go to Whole Cake. Whole Cake. Oh, my God. We're here. Long as shit, bro. Like, I'm going to come all the way clean. This fucking arc is fucking long. It's not as long as Jess Rosa or Wano, but it's still long, though. And there's a lot of shit in it I don't care about. But, uh, anyways, wait for this fucking car to go by. <clears throat> what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, yeah, anyways, Whole Cake Island. So uh, let, let's talk about first Big Mom's backstory. Big Mom's backstory is kind of cool. You feel me? We learn about Big Mom. She gets abandoned by her fucking parents not to be confused with curse of cowardly dog she didn't get abandoned and then found by muriel who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband eustace brags like it, it wasn't that but creepy stuff happens in whole cake she's like no nah, I'm, I'm saying but anyways big mom ends up getting abandoned you feel me whatever she ends up on l bath you feel me and gets taken in by mother caramel now mother caramel is a fucking op and works for the government she a little snake ass bitch that's not important though mother caramel has the soul fruit and I know y'all are wondering, well, how did Big Mom get the soul fruit? Well, let me explain. So there's this fucking moment where Big Mom gets a cake made by her fucking family. They're having fun. They're laughing, dancing. Really joyous music is playing. And then you see a man on the right and you see this guy named Struson on the left. And they're watching this happen. Struson's laughing, but this other guy is about to fucking vomit. This nigga looked like he got a stomach bug. And I'm like, well, why? Like, what's going on? And then I fucking realized as I looked, all of Big Mom's family, including Mother Caramel, are gone. And I'm like, where are they at? And then it hit me. This fat bitch ate her fucking family. This bitch. Oh, my God. Like, how fucking hungry can you be? Like, 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 how do you eat your entire family? And I didn't really believe it at first. But, 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 but when I seen this little weird midget nigga Struzan fucking over there laughing in pedophilia, I mean... <laughs> laughing and weirdness i was like yo this bitch really ate her fucking family like like oh my fucking god like they might still be in there to this day but nah we know that she ate them because she has the soul fruit and to get a fruit from another person you have to kill the person and also eat the fruit she did two with one stone nigga killed two birds with one stone i mean you feel me you know what the fuck i meant Yo, this fat fucking bitch, bro, dressing like a fucking big bottle of Pepto Bismol looking ass nigga, obese Pink Panther looking ass nigga. Then you got these fat ass cankles in his big ass nose, nigga. You got a schnauzer, don't you? Bitch got a poodle for her nose, nigga. This she in this fucking one panel slobbering and shit. Hungry, ain't you? Bitch salivating for anything. She's like, yo, I'm angry. I'm getting hunger pains. How do you freak the fuck out from being hungry like that? Eat a Snickers, bitch. Big fat ass bitch, bro. I swear to God, bro. Big mom, yo, you are one of the ugliest ass motherfuckers in this goddamn show. Big nasty body ass nigga. Respusha from Norbit looking ass nigga. Medea's family reunion build ass nigga. Not just Medea, the whole family, you fat as shit. But now nah, I'm gonna come all the way clean. The coochie is crazy. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I will beat the cheeks of Big Mom. You feel me? And, and her head game must be, you feel me, top tier, elite. You feel me? Because, because. 
Yo, she has 83 children. Like, bitch, how did you push 83 fucking kids out? Bro, this nigga Pound just dug himself into the ground and just waited there. The coochie's so good, this nigga became Dig Dug. This nigga became Diglet. Oh, my fucking God, bro. Like, oh, my God. But anyways, Big Mom cool as shit. She just fat as shit. But anyways, fuck all that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this nigga Luffy versus Cracker. Now, this nigga Cracker powers, you feel me? He has biscuit powers, you feel me? He be making fucking biscuit clones. He got like a biscuit armor suit on, but he, he really like a glass cannon underneath it. You feel me? And this nigga Cracker looks so cold underneath the armor. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. But this nigga Luffy and Nami struggle with this nigga Cracker. Cracker's pretty strong. Niggas be like, he's stronger than Dolphy. <laughs> nigga, how? But anyways, fuck all that. There's really not much to talk about there. Fast forward. Oh, I want to talk about Sanji and fucking pudding, bro. Why do Japanese people think it's okay for grown men to be dating teenagers? Putting a 16. Fuck. EDP ain't it. Hisoka ain't it. R. Kelly ain't it. Like, like, what the fuck going on? Like, like, bro, what you think? Cause she got a third eye that it's okay? Like, she not really human for real. She part of a different race. So it's like, it's cool for real. Like, it's really not the same as like a human being. So like, you know what it is. Like, come on now. Like, like, no, it's not okay. But anyways, Japanese niggas are weird. But anyways, fuck all that shit. Sanji ends up, like, liking Pudding and, oh, my God. And then Pudding ends up liking him, even though she was really on some nefarious shit. It was crazy. We find out, though, that this nigga Sanji ain't shit, bro. Because this nigga Luffy confronts Sanji early on. I forgot to mention this for some reason. And this nigga Sanji starts attacking his captain. Telling him, oh, I'm not coming back with you. He starts hitting his captain. And everybody's like, if Zoro was here, he would have stopped it. And I'm like, nigga, I would have stopped it too, nigga. Like, like, what the fuck? Why are you hitting my nigga Luffy? I, I, I still, to this day, be mad about it, but... I understand it. You know what I mean? I get it. I get the writing and I understand why it was happening and why Sanji was making the choices he made. Do I like the choices he made? No. Do I agree with him? No. But it's like, I get it, nigga. You feel me? Like, I'm not going to really judge this nigga too much. You know what I mean? For some shit that I understand. You feel me? But why the fuck was you domestic abusing? Like, well, it's not really domestic abuse. Y'all aren't a couple. Never mind. That was a stupid way of putting that. But nigga, why were you abusing your captain? Like, like, this nigga Sanji out here, I'm the captain now. Like, really beating this nigga up. But Luffy wasn't even doing anything, yo. He was eating that pulse. But anyways, fuck all that shit, man. Fast forward again, past all the boring shit. Big Mom chasing the Straw Hats the fucking whole arc. And nobody cares about that. So the fucking Luffy versus Katakuri fight. Oh my fucking God. Yo, editor Q to Menace the Music. This nigga Katakuri is one of the coldest niggas I've ever seen in my goddamn life. This nigga has future sight, which is basically just being able to see into the future. He can glimpse into the future. My nigga rarely explained it in a flashback and all that. This nigga is the GOAT. Like, bro, he was beating the fuck out of Luffy for 12 hours. Like, Luffy didn't start fighting back till like the last 30 minutes, bro. It was ridiculous. This nigga is dog walking this nigga Luffy. And then this nigga's sister attacks Luffy, blindsides him, Cat finds out, and Cat stabs himself to try to even the playing field. I'm like, nigga, how real of a nigga do you have to be to do some shit like that? This nigga Luffy's like, there's no fair rules in pirate games. This nigga Cat like, psych, nigga, I'ma shank myself, nigga, I'm a UK native, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga, I'm 21 Savage, stabbed himself. so. They start getting a boxing. Moshi. Boom, boom, boom. This nigga Luffy, Snake Man. Boom, 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 You feel me? This nigga changing the fucking trajectory of his punches. A jet to claw for the ring. You feel me? With the Snake Man. Rocking this nigga. Boom. He's still dodging some of them, though. They going at it. And then this nigga Cat just realizes, yo, this nigga Luffy is never going to give up. This nigga broke my will. And he falls on his back, which is a fucking big deal for the pirate world. That's why this nigga Whitebeard did not fall on his back at Marine Ford. Like, 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 like. Like, bro, the, these niggas, yo, this is a big deal for these niggas. So Cat, you know, pretty much gives up. He lays on his back. But this fight is so goddamn clean, bro. This nigga, Cat is that nigga, bro. But you know I gotta get this nigga Cat a curry. You thought I was gonna let this nigga slide? Fuck no, boy. Get your weird body built ass the fuck over here, nigga. And then this scarf you got is mad clean. Like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. Like, that scarf is fucking fire nigga but your body on the lower half nigga if you don't get these nasty high q knee pads the fuck out of here these spiked boots the fuck out of here there's a snake in my boots cowboy boots having that nigga fucking woody from toy story boots having ass nigga little stripper heels we got the wedges on ain't it you about to do the slut walk ain't you the fuck going on with you man then you got these nasty ass spikes coming out your fucking knees nigga what the fuck is that 
Well, what are those for, nigga? Let them make sure they can stick in the ground so you got good posture when you give a neck, nigga? Like, what the fuck? Then your body built weird as shit. Why is your fucking body that big? And you got a skittle for a head, nigga? Like, goddamn, you got a fucking button for a head. But I'm gonna come clean. The top half is fire. It's just that bottom half is not giving what it's supposed to give, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean, you feel me? You out here looking nasty at the bottom, looking like a cactus, nigga. Like, like what the fuck going on with the spikes? Anyways, now nah, my nigga Katakuri is mad clean, you feel me? So anyways, after this fight, you feel me? Real shit happens, you know what I mean? Jinbe, the fucking goat, he tells Big Mom, you feel me, earlier in the story, nigga, I'm a part of the crew of the fucking next Pirate King, so why would I be scared of Amir Yanko, you fat bitch? You feel me? He's talking heavy to her at the tea party and shit. Oh yeah, the tea party, I forgot. So this nigga Capone Beige really on some snake shit. I'ma come all the way clean. The whole time, he's like, I know that I said that today on the day of Big Mom's fucking fat ass daughter's wedding, that I was gonna be on Big Mom's side, but I'm really gonna stop her, you know? I'm gonna hit her with these missiles, nigga. You feel me? I'm gonna break Mother Caramel's fucking picture. I'ma throw her off. I'ma get her to fall on her fat ass knee and scrape it. And then we're gonna hit her with cannons while she's vulnerable. And I was like, nigga, why do you think that that's gonna work? It's a fucking Yonko. The fact that you gotta make her distressed to even scrape her knee let you know these dumbass missiles aren't gonna work anyways him and luffy come together they try to attack big mom and that's how the category fight started later on and shit i forgot to give y'all context on that i'll be doubling back a lot you feel me but we're a fucking hour and a half into this video unedited so it's like goddamn i'm so glad this video is almost fucking over but anyways jimbe is a real ass nigga you feel me he stays behind he says luffy i'm gonna come to wano and all that but i gotta stay behind and i gotta stop this fat obese ass bitch you feel me i gotta protect my son pirates you feel me and, and, and jimbe's a real nigga luffy's like yo you better come to fucking wano you'll stop playing with me he starts poking him in the forehead like he's like bitch stop fucking playing with me yo he started acting like franklin yo in that one scene from snowfall he's like nigga you better come to wano he's like i don't care that you gotta protect the sun pirates for the way that another fat bitch talk you feel me like like he was talking heavy you feel me nah but real shit though but nah jimbe's a real nigga for sticking up for his fucking crew and all that like, like i'm gonna come all the way clean he's a real one shout out to him fisher tiger and all that the sun pirates and all that but after this yo we're pretty much done until wano you feel me now the wano video is gonna be long bro because wano was a lot bro like god damn like <sighs> i love one piece i love talking about one piece but fuck that wano arc is gonna be so goddamn long anyway Anyways, guys, this is my fucking hood review of the post time skip at One Piece. I don't want to hear no fucking complaining. I gave y'all fucking hour. I think it's probably like an hour long after this gets cut up, yo. Like, 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 it's gonna be fucking long as shit. Like, I like, I'm gonna come all the way clean. I don't want to hear no excuses. Y'all was like, yo, you gave Naruto on Bleach 40 minutes. Like, why the fuck does One Piece only get 10? Where, bitch? Take this, nigga. <sighs> Oh yeah, before we go though, yo, Dragon, you a deadbeat ass dad, nigga. Uh, 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 milk carton going at, nigga. Like, what the fuck going on with this nigga, man? Fucking long arm, weird built ass nigga, nasty jazz skeleton built ass nigga. You gonna abandon your son, but pick up another nigga? Pick up another nigga, Sabo? You gonna pick Sabo up and, not, and you gonna neglect your son? Bitch ass nigga. But anyways, you feel me? <laughs> my fault. I had to go in on that nigga Dragon real quick before I ended the video and all that. You know what I mean? But yo, this has been my whole review of fucking post time skit One Piece. Yo, go read or watch One Piece. Peace or you're a fucking dirty ass delinquent nigga you're a fucking dirty you're the scum of the earth you're a fucking bitch and you're worthless <sighs> animal fuck your bitch nigga if you don't nigga bye